Nothing is more important in Apex Legends than getting your hands on the right weapons, ammunition and attachments. So I'm going to help you get to grips with some weapon basics, as well as taking a look at the mechanics and origins of some of the game's more interesting firearms. There are many different types of weapon in Apex Legends, but only a few varieties of ammo, either heavy, light, shells or energy. This means that different guns can use the same type of ammo, for example the Wingman Pistol uses heavy ammo, the same as used in the Hemlock Assault Rifle or the Longbow Sniper. The weapons and ammo are colour coordinated to make it easier to pick up the stuff you need. So if your weapon is blue, you need the blue heavy ammo, if it's orange you need the orange ones and so on. Weapons can also be improved with attachments like stocks, extended magazines and barrel modifications. These come in various rarities and as you would expect, the rarer the attachment, the stronger it is. Also many attachments are linked to a specific type of weapon. For example, you can't use an extended heavy mag on a weapon that uses light ammo, put a shotgun bolt on a sniper rifle or a sniper stock on a pistol. However, the exception to this rule is the scopes, particularly the short and medium range ones as these can be attached to most if not all weapons. It's also possible to get legendary rarity scopes that will highlight enemies. The final type of attachment are the hop up special attachments. These can dramatically change the effectiveness of a weapon and even how to use it. Lastly there are the legendary weapons. These use their own unique ammo that comes with the gun when you pick it up. So when you run out of ammo you're out and that's it. There is also no customizable attachments so you can't change the scope or improve the weapon at all. However they make up for this by hitting like a truck and being statistically the most powerful weapons in the game. The weapons in Apex Legends have their roots in the Titanfall games, as they're set in the same universe. However, Apex takes place at a later date, so we see improved and modified versions of these older weapons. For example, the Triple Take is a three barreled sniper rifle that fires three bullets in a line. This is an upgrade from the Double Take from Titanfall 2, which you guessed it, fired two bullets in a line. Some guns are also named as in-jokes or references, for example the Mozambique shotgun gets its name from the Mozambique drill, a close quarters shooting technique that involves a double tap to the body and a follow up shot to the head. The Mozambique shotgun replicates this by firing three projectiles in a triangle, designed to put two in the body and one in the head of your target. Most weapons are very similar to their Titanfall counterparts, for example the R301 is the successor to the 101 and 201 from the previous games. However others have been reworked quite a bit, for example the Flatline in Titanfall 2 got its name from its horizontal recoil that would fire its bullets in a flat line. Apex retains some of this but it's not quite as dramatic. Assault rifles are some of the most versatile weapons in the game. They excel at medium range encounters, but by switching their fire mode to single shot or firing in short bursts, they can also be accurate at longer distances. These are the guns that most players are going to feel very comfortable with, as although they each have their own niche, they will all feel very familiar if you've played pretty much any first person shooter in the last couple of decades. Submachine guns are statistically one of the best classes of weapons in the game and boast some of the highest damage per second available. However, to get the most out of them you need to be in close range with your target and be able to control their aggressive recoil, all the while keeping the reticle on a fast moving enemy. Because of this, these weapons tend to be picked up by characters who have the mobility to rush up to their enemies and play aggressively. There is some interesting design with these weapons as well. The alternator for example gets its name from its two alternating barrels and as a result has an interesting recoil pattern. The alternative to the SMG for close range combat is the trusty shotgun. These are high impact weapons that fire a burst of pellets. The closer you are to the target, the better chance you have of more of the pellets hitting them. They come in a few different styles, the Peacekeeper for example is a single shot lever action shotgun designed for big individual hits, while the EVA-8 is an automatic shotgun with a much faster rate of fire but less damage from each burst. Light machine guns fill a similar role as the assault rifles, they are fast firing high damage weapons designed to shred through targets and even multiple enemies. Their drawbacks are normally their heavy recoil, which makes them harder to consistently aim than most assault rifles, but they make up for this with large magazine sizes and high damage per bullet. The Devotion is one of the more interesting LMGs in the game, like the name suggests you need to be devoted to it as the weapon will fire faster the longer you hold down the trigger. Sniper rifles are the ultimate long range weapons, however they come in many different styles. You've got the hard hitting slow firing style of the longbow, specifically designed for players who are hunting for headshots. Then on the other hand you have the lighter and faster firing G7, less damage per shot but more forgiving if you miss. 
then the unique triple take, with its three barrels like I mentioned earlier. As you might imagine, the humble pistol is generally going to be outclassed in every way by the other weapons in the game. However, hiding amongst these innocent looking guns is the Wingman, a high powered revolver that uses heavy ammo and deals a lot of damage, so just because you see someone holding a handgun, don't assume they're an easy target. So this should be enough to help you decide which weapons you want to use in Apex Legends and give you some interesting anecdotes about their origins, but which is your favourite weapon and why? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James Fakas saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.